In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to test the hypothesis or assumption of equal distributions uh, associated with the Man Whitney U statistic. Now, as I've mentioned before, most people don't know that the Man Whitney U statistic has any assumptions at all. It does. It doesn't assume normally distributed data, that's true. But it does assume that the distributions are non normal, if they are non normal, in a similar manner. And it's not actually very easy to test that assumption directly, but there is an indirect test that can be used to test uh, whether the dis distributions are um, non-normal in the same way. And that is actually basically a homogeneity of variance assumption, but it's a non-parametric version. And let's do this for this uh, data, which is drug use and gender. And I'll go back to the distributions in terms of what they look like. Uh, explore drug use gender as a factor list and I uh, want to see actually no that's not actually what I want to do I want to go into graphs uh, histograms and show that uh, the distributions are not normal but that they are possibly non normal in a different way so here we can see that the distribution for the males is more skewed than the females so these two distributions do not look identical to me uh, and whether they are it's numerically true that they're not identical whether they're statistically significantly differently non-normal uh, is the question here uh, for the purposes of conducting a man Whitney new statistic in a justifiable way so one way that we can do that and actually look at the descriptive statistics first for the for the groups let's just go to explore drug use gender and uh, look at the descriptives and we can see that there are 204 males and 213 females and the standard deviation for the males is 5.899 and the standard deviation for females is 3.86 and skew is 1.33 for males and 1.21 for females and as I mentioned, the Man Whitney assumes that the distributions are of a similar nature. They can be non-normal, but they have to be of a similar nature. I'm worried that they're not. And as I mentioned, the indirect way that we go about testing this is to test homogeneity of variance. I don't. It's worrisome. 5.899 versus 3.86 is worrisome in terms of whether they'll be equal. So how can we test that statistically? Well, we can do a homogeneity of variance Levine's test that is non-parametric nat in nature in SPSS. And it's through the explore utility. So just as I did earlier, put the dependent variable in the dependent list and your independent variable in the factor list. Then you have to click on plots. And you click on normality plots with tests. And then, uh, or I should say, all you need to do is click on untransformed. So spread versus level with Levine's test and untransformed is all you need. You don't actually need the normality plots. So click on continue and click on OK. And SPSS produces a fair amount of output, but the key table that you want to look at is test of homogeneity of variance. And SPSS has uh, two of these tests and one of them is um, well, I should say two of them that are relevant to the non-parametric version of the test. And w it's the ones that are based on the median. So we have one based on the median and based on the median with adjusted DF. And I would recommend that you use the adjusted DF version. So in this case, we have the Levine statistic that's 8.74, degrees of freedom of 1, and 359.299, and a p-value of p equal 0 0.003. Now because that p-value is less than 0 0.05, it implies that the non-parametric version of the homogeneity of variance test has been, um, the null hypothesis has been rejected, which means that the assumption of equal distributions between the two groups is not satisfied. And that implies that we should not be able to interpret the p-value from a non-parametric uh, Man Whitney U statistic on these data, even though I did in the previous video. As I mentioned, most people have no idea that this is an assumption of the non-parametric. It is, and this is how you can test it. 
And the indi indirect version of this test is that if the two groups do not have similar variances, then it necessarily implies that they do not have the same distributions. Uh, and in this case, it's based on the median, which makes it a, a more non-parametric version of the Levine's test. So that's how you can test the assumption of equal distributions that the Man Whitney U t statistic assumes. Kruskal Wallace also assumes it, and you can use the same test in this case. So that's how it's done.